immature, cocky, distracting, jerk. During his time in the NHL thus far, Evander Kane has been called a lot of things to that nature. He's splashy, irreverent, and controversial all at the same time. Whether it's on or off ice behavior for his past teams, he's been an PR nightmare. In this video, I'm going to highlight the biggest jerk moments displayed by Kane himself. And with that, here are the top jerk moments from Evander Kane. Not long after coming to Winnipeg, Kane was already making headlines, but not exactly the kind that come from scoring goals, as a series of incidents that ultimately sent the winger to the East Coast began with Kane flashing his money. In one picture that was taken on the balcony of the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas shows him using stacks of money as a makeshift phone. And yet another Insta upload that sparked controversy was of Kane doing push-ups with floods of cash sprawled on his back. Not exactly the humblest guy, I must say. The last series between the Vegas Golden Knights and the San Jose Sharks was obviously a better one. And if there wasn't a rivalry already brewing, well, it's definitely alive and well today. And one of the players in the middle of the action was none other than Kane himself. It quickly became apparent on multiple occasions that the winger was having a hard time controlling his temper. After being down 4 to nothing late in the game, Kane decided to take his frustration out just a little. He began by cross-checking Paul Stasny, which of course led to a scrum ensuing, and finished by giving Colin Miller a hearty knuckle sandwich. While Evander Kane has been called many choice words in his career, one good quality I have to say the guy displays is fearlessness. Why? Because it would take some major stones to go after a guy almost twice your size, am I right? Anyways, following the exchange of the fists between the captain and Kane, a post appeared on Kane's Twitter soon after the game indicating that he wasn't too fond with the game's officiating, and claimed that the fight was in retaliation towards Chara, after he dished out a headshot behind the net that went uncalled. It was a hit right to my face, head, whatever you want to call it, he says. Clearly, I get up and look at the referee who's watching from the corner. He's standing there with both arms down, and I'm absolutely stunned, he says. And yet another classless act from the forward came not long before he was shipped out of Winnipeg. After showing up to a team meeting in February of 2015 in a tracksuit, which was a violation of policy, Kane and his clothes were in hot water not only with management but also his teammates, as the outfit enraged especially Dustin Bufflin, who allegedly tossed the clothes into the shower during practice to send a message later on. And to spark even more speculation, coincidence or not, Kane wasn't present for the next matchup, as head coach Paul Maurice deemed it a coach's decision. For most players, rivalries just tend to bring the worst out in everyone. But for Evander Kane, well, it was much more than that, as a winger seems to find himself in the middle of the controversy almost every game against the Golden Knights. And this time, in game one of the series, it was Bellamar that was on the receiving end of Kane's frustration. During a scrum that ensued near the net, Kane decided to, for whatever reason, cross-check him in the face. As Bellamar laid motionless on the ice, Kane was assessed a five-minute major in a game misconduct and results. Speaking of rivalries, the one between Evander Kane and Ryan Reeves was perhaps the most entertaining feud of last postseason as the two were not only tossing jabs on the ice, but also off of it. After finally tossing the gloves, following much tension and many chirps, Kane took things even further on social media to say that Reeves was basically throwing pillows, saying, For the so-called toughest guy in the league, I don't know if he landed a punch. At times, I thought I was fighting the Muffin Man. I didn't expect that. I expected more of a battle. Now to say that Kane's relationship with officials over the years has been strained would definitely be an understatement at this point, in case you haven't already figured that out. 
and it didn't take long for him to get into it during a preseason match against his favorite team, yes, you guessed it, the Vegas Golden Knights, with none other than Derek Engeland. Upon intervention by an official after Kane's slash on Engeland, the forward clearly could be shown shoving the ref that was trying to restrain him. After being ejected from the game, Kane later gave his thoughts on the altercation with the referee, saying, I get kicked out of the game for getting jumped behind by a referee. I've never seen a ref take five strides, he says. If you look at his face, he's getting all this power and he's trying to drive me into the ice, which is what he did. That's unbelievable. Talk about abuse of an official. How about abuse of a player? It's an absolute joke. Yeah, we're definitely all in the corner crying right with you, Evander. Actually, that's an absolute joke, too. Come on.